size is this and as you see here you see the way how I measure it I measure from the previous stone that's already there whenever you're doing like that hey guys how you all doing welcome back to the channel in today's video we're gonna jump on to some more stone work and we have some precast installation as well I'm gonna walk you through the process of how to install your precast the basic of how to install precast, how to cut it, how to proper secure it that it won't fall off. You know what I mean? All that coming up in this video. And a bit of tip and chip chicks as we go as well. And how to lay man-made stone. With no further ado, let's dive right into the video. But before we jump into the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more upcoming videos like this one. Let me take you over here and show you what we did so far and what we're about to do today. So yesterday we did this much here. Over there, Mr. Maple Green did that much. Plus over there. And I work over here as well. Finish this section here as well. So these are the precasts that we're gonna be installing. We have some more bad boy over here. This is what we're about to do today. We're gonna try and work, go all the way up there. Work our way up the window over there. We're gonna work over here. Hey Chris, how are you? Good, good bro. <laughs> Mr. Green, how are you sir? I'm never good, I love money. <laughs> Mr. Green wants some money, man. <laughs> hey guys, let's get started. We're trying to see if we can target this section here with stone today. We're doing some permican stone. And we did this job recently. If you haven't seen this video, feel free to check out it where we install all those precasts, sill, stone, brickwork, all that is up there on the video. Let's get started. Okay guys, let's start. Let's jump on with the first one. Go over and this yeah, this is our green. Yeah, this is our green. Yeah. Well, if you up now. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Come here, sir. 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 Come here, Come here, sir. Come here, sir. Come here, sir. Come here, sir. Come here, Come here, Alright. Oh, what a man. Huh? Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Come on, boy. Yeah, I'm I, I got it. No, send him with me. Send him right in. Yeah. We plumb this way, Green. We plumb it this way. Yeah, it was plumb both ways. From this side, plumb this side, supposed to plumb. The wind I turn away from the window, plumb. You good? Yeah. Okay, all right. It's always a good thing when you have a real good team, you know? Teamwork make the dream work. As you see here, we got this one in place. Big boy is not easy to go in, where no one tries to do it by hand. We don't have, we can use a zoom boom here. We're still waiting for it to dry properly. Hopefully by tomorrow we can bring in a machine. So, so we have it now. Let's put on the next one over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold it up. Yeah. Come over here, hold it. Hold it up with the two at the time. I don't want you to go to fall asleep and go to jump and broke up. Run 100 miles to get that. 
Okay guys, so here we have some brick ties that came. We wanna push them right in. We have some brick ties that came um it, it came attached to the precast. We're just gonna nail those in place. Right after we already check for plumb, we check for the make sure that we're plumb. We have three holes, we wanna put nailing on a three holes. Perfect. Okay, Thank you. Okay, guys, we're just gonna just gonna tape our C now. Very, very important to do it to tape your C. Your C. Okay, guys. So now we're gonna set up our 45 nail right in here so that we have a um, nice 45 gonna go all the way up. Green. Yes, sir. Can you give me um, a honey apple? Right. Yeah, and then the wheel. Line up front for a big one, a big side. This side here? Yeah, the big. Are you one? One side here, do you front? Yeah, middle. Two on the side, a big one there. Come over more now. What's up? This way? Yeah, that's it. Next side. Okay guys, so this is a double double sided. As you see we put our line go all the way up. Hopefully we can finish this in two days. Guys, for this you want to use a lot of brick ties. As you see here, it's our control joint and it's a 45. So I want to make sure that we use uh, a lot of brick ties to structure it properly. Brick ties can't be too much. I know so, what do you mean I think so? You know, I don't lie, after alone, I always pick up more for real, you know. That's a strong amount. Eh? That's a strong amount. Don't bet him green. My team up against me. Yeah, tell him to bet him. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, but yeah, for you use a shitload of brick tie close to the, close to um close to where the it thing are giant.
guys if you get involved from this video so far go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribe for more fun video like this one I promise you won't regret it be a part of the team Guys, make sure you use a lot of brick ties as we go. Forty five. As you see here, a, a little tip for you guys: make sure that you work with your forty five line. One hand of the stone plus right up to the line, as you see. And then this one you're gonna use to go with the half an inch joint here. Just use this as a spacer. Over here is the same thing. Pretty very close to it. Use a lot of brick ties. Okay guys, so as you see here, I'm gonna measure for this stone here. You wanna put your tape right at the head, the edge of the stone. And measure to see your cut that you have here. So this one is 11 and 7 eighths. So let's put a, let's put a medium right here. Put a medium right like so. So we want to take the measurement from right from the line. Okay guys, okay so let's compact our joint now. We're going to go with a wire brush joint. But before we do that, we want to compact it and have it sit here. This way it can set a little bit more. And then later on we can do our joint. Okay guys, let's keep going. Let's keep going and bring this right up. Oh yes, we are gonna get them there. We need to see some more so see all the piece on this so. Yeah man, just do next side of what yeah. income with the big cream. Yeah. So you have to do it. Yeah, see, one. see a piece over this one. So. Five and a half. Five and a half. But that's the big one. Yeah man, it's cover under so it is on the water. Martin are they too far from down here? They have played your role now. <laughs> Break it, I break it back to you. I know, like, we couldn't break it off. Yeah, true, man. Just not get to do it as often, you know what I mean? The more you do it now, that's why I have to buy the time we done them out here. By the time we done the free work, we have here, so. Anything at all you do often, the more often you do it, the more you learn how to do it, the more and more better you become. Guys, make sure you use a lot of brick ties, huh? Yes, sir. I'm not a man and a rookie doing it. Hey, yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, you good? Yeah, man, keep watching, guys. The stone will catch on. It's your first time laying man made stone. I promise you. Make sure you use a lot of brick ties if you're doing a. You're doing a 45 like this. This is a double 45 that we're doing here. We want to make sure we secure it nicely. Now we're just gonna put some tape, some duct tape.
When you finish use your duct tape, you fold it over like this. Easier for you later on. Fold it on and reuse it again. Yeah. Okay guys, here's a little tip for you. Master my son, master key. No master go home my friend. Come on, principal. Okay guys, so we have here, we have here a medium. Over here we have a big. So right here now it's calling for a small. So let's put a small piece right here now. We want a meter, we want a meter from the stone that's already there that's cut. This is eight and five eighths. My child puppy. Look at this guy, we don't even need to touch it. Give your boy Ryan a thumbs up. Thank you. This is 11 and 3 quarter. Let's put a big one. We haven't used a big in a while. Let's use a big guys. Let's use a big. Okay, let's put a big one over here. Rub her down a little bit. Oh, make sure she's nice in line. Just like so. Cut that one off, we don't want to make a mess on our pre-car. Door level. Make sure she's nice and level. Looks like here I want to go up a little bit. So I knock it down here, I'm going to take it up and put some more mortar. Because I want to maintain my half an inch joint. Good. Just like that. Oh my God, we're getting there. Very, very dear. Yeah. We're getting there, my people. go make sure you check your um, your lines to see if anything is touching it because that can throw you off big time let's see here maybe we'll put um what do you think you think i should just put a small one here and then after that put a big here maybe it will look better no okay let's do that uh nine inches let's do that guys you guys agree with me on that I, let's do it together I'm gonna show you how to cut a stone using your hammer. Let's cut this stone using our hammer, guys. You can tap like this. Just make a few top. Just snap the back. Look. Oh, right in line. Okay, let's put a big one right here guys. Let's put a big one right here. I think it will look nice. Let's do that. 11 and a half. Let's cut one 11 and a half. You know, stone work, you gotta just play with it guys. It's pretty simple and easy. Once you know the tree rule of how to lay stone, you can just play around with the pattern. One other thing that you want to always remember, try to avoid putting big on top of a big, medium on top of a medium. Sometimes you have to, but try and avoid doing it. For the big, you definitely don't want to put the big on top of a big. It's okay to put a medium or a small on top of a small, but try and avoid doing it. You will be fine. Here we're just gonna put um what size is this and as you see here you see the way how I measure it I measure from the previous stone that's already there reason why I did it like that 
Whenever you're doing like that, you're gonna have a straight looking joint at all times. You know, so it's very important to measure from this point. So we're, made, we're gonna put our tape right here and we're gonna measure here. So this is eight and five eighths. That way all of our joint gonna look straight in line go all the way down. Eight and five eighths. Let's cut for that one. Beautiful, just like that. As you see here, it line up nicely. That way we know that when you do your joint, everything in line nicely. Let's put our level, make sure that will, oh, I don't even need to touch it. Beautiful. Okay, let's put a brick tire right here now, being as we're right up to our wind or door top. Put a brick tire right here. Nice. Well, there you have it, guys. I don't want to join this video too long. If you get value from this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe for more upcoming videos like this one. I promise you won't regret it. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. So when we upload more videos like this, you get notified. You can come back and watch them later on. Peace out. See you guys around here day after tomorrow.